Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are. And this is the Weekly Holiday Show. I'm your host, Mr. James, and here are your selected holidays for the week of November 15th through the 19th. That's Monday through Friday, normal school days. How is everyone doing out there? It's getting a little bit colder here up in Maine. Wearing a sweatshirt that has Maine on it, yes. I'm growing a little bit of a beard of sorts. That's for a certain production that I'm part of. That means a play of sorts at the end of this month. And uh, yeah, maybe I'll keep it then. I don't know. We'll see how cold it gets. Anyways, Monday the 15th, we have Clean the Refrigerator Day. You know what? <laughs> I think that should be pretty much at the end of the week, every week. If you have one day a year, because this is only the holiday, the only time a year when this holiday happens to clean a refrigerator, that's going to be pretty bad. Can you imagine milk that normally goes bad, maybe within a few weeks, maybe a month at most, being in a refrigerator for one year? <laughs> wow. Don't open that up. Anyways, clean your refrigerator out. It's your ice box. It's the place that keeps things cold, keeps things fresh, keeps things crisp. All of that. We didn't have refrigerators. Wow. So many things that we couldn't eat. And we'd always have to be buying things like all the time because it would go bad. Anyways, clean it out. And if you want some recipes on how to do something with those leftovers or whatever you find in there that you can eat, look online. There's plenty of those called leftover meals. Tuesday, the 16th, it is fast food day. Now, listen to me. I don't condone, which means I don't support people eating fast food. You want to be able to cook food and learn how to cook. And it's going to take a little while, but you'll get more out of it. You'll know what you put into it. When it comes to fast food, it's fast. It's something that's probably not always the best for you. And yeah, it's convenient, basically. So if you have to eat fast food, you know, one time a year, okay. You're doing it a couple of times a week. Mm, you must be really busy or you might not be thinking about your health too much because not a lot of fast food is that good for you. So anyways, maybe celebrate this. Maybe not. Just think about it for a little while, hmm? right? Wednesday the 17th, take a hike day. Now that doesn't mean telling someone to just take a hike, get away from me. Actually it means just go outside and take a hike, you know, walk around in nature, look around, see what's outside, see where you've not been before. And once a year, nah, you should be doing this every single week. I mean, get back in nature. There's many studies done on the fact that if you get outside and you get to see trees and possibly wild animals and such, that you actually feel better and it helps you to uh, organize your thoughts. So maybe you should be doing that. Uh, maybe not looking at a screen, kind of like I'm kind of doing right now. Ooh, let me fix my lighting a little bit, make it a little bit better. Um, Okay, maybe that's good. Thursday the 18th, it is Princess Day. Mm hmm And it looks like I've got a little tiara on and I get some roses. Now, princess, this could mean a female that is being honored on this day. It also could mean someone who thinks in terms of princely, princess-like, which is someone who is humble, someone who, who treats others with royal blessings, someone who is just a superstar in their own right, and also someone you could just cherish and be like, I really love this person, and they are a princess. Yes, I realize most of the time princess is associated with girls, women, but every one of us can be a prince, princess. Inside, we can have those you know, that uh, drive to help others and think about past people that you might have known being a princess. I can think of a princess that, uh, Princess Diana, uh, that I remember and all the things that she did uh, before she passed away. And just that idea of someone who is in power of being able to help others and wanting to help others. That's, that to me is the true nature of Princess Day. Celebrate that. You don't need a tiara, you don't need roses or any sort of decoration at all. Just uh, act a little royal that day. And Friday the 19th, we have Substitute Teacher Day. 
thank you, thank you, thank you, substitute teachers. We need you. I being myself a teacher, I need to have a substitute every now and then, you know, something might have come up or maybe it's a professional day where I have to go and I'm in a workshop, I'm with other teachers and I need someone to cover where I work. And that's what a substitute teacher does. And they step up to the challenge and they give great notes. And I think it's nice every now and then for students to see a new face. And substitute teachers are in short supply right now. We need more of you. So if you wanna be a substitute teacher, it's not too difficult if you had a little bit of college and you just really wanna help others. You know, that's basically the prerequisite. So get on that path, fill out the paperwork you have to, and become a substitute teacher. The world needs you, especially in these times. So anyways, thank you for watching. Subscribe for these weekly videos and thumbs up, never hurt. And yes, please, if you can this week, celebrate something.